everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Hair... Oof, that's like really big slap. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> thanks for tuning in to Hair by Jillian. This is my fourth episode. So today I'm doing on this episode is a fun, undone, beachy kind of look. Um, I'm doing it on a model today, and it's my friend Ashley, so I'm so excited to use her. She's so beautiful, and anything that she does is... It's amazing. So I'm excited for this look and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started. Alright guys, I'm just going to start by sectioning off Ashley's hair. I am taking quite big of sections. I it looks like I've just sectioned out her whole nape section. So I'm going to start using my inch and a quarter barrel iron and start curling those pieces. Uh, you'll see here that I'm sliding uh, just the ends out just to give it a little bit more of a straighter look. I know with having beach waves you want them to look undone, a little bit messy, so it's nice to not really curl the ends and just kind of leave those out. And you'll also see here that I am curling each section away from her face and kind of just meeting in the center. So when I switch the side I'll be rotating one way and then rotating the other way, kind of all coming into the, the back. So as I'm moving up um, Ashley's hair, I am using about an inch and a quarter sections. Um, that's kind of the rule they taught us in hair school. Whatever um, size your curling iron is, is the size of sections you should take. So I, if you have a two inch iron that you're working with, take two inch sections. Um, obviously it depends on what kind of curls you're wanting to achieve. Here we're just wanting to do loose, undone waves, but I am still keeping them in those little sausage rolls so that they stay and they hold, but I will be going through them in the end and piecing through them just to um, give it more of a Gucci look. Some people also can use uh, a wraparound iron if they want to achieve this, if they don't have an iron like I do, an inch would work perfect as well to, to achieve these curls. I'm sure you guys are wondering what kind of products I'm using. As of before I curl the curls, I don't put anything on them. After each section is done being curled, I spray, uh, I believe it's called the Schwarzkopf Osis Session Spray number two. It's a great hold to have. It's not too light, but it has that medium hold to where it will stay in place um, as I finish these curls. So I'm still curling away from the face um, on each side so that it still comes back to the center and kind of meets in the center in the back. I'm still also leaving them in those little awful sausages that yes, we will go through those later. Um, and then I will be using Beach Day by Unite. It's a sea salt spray to add texture and then also Full Volume Blast by Living Proof which is amazing for great texture and body without weighing it down. still finishing each section with the OSIS Session Spray number two. Uh, like I said, it adds some nice hold to each section until I go through them in the end. I'm just going to finish off the top of Ashley's hair here and then I'll add the other products later. I'm finishing up the last few pieces on Ashley's uh, hair here and now I'm going to go through and mess those curls up. We do not want them to be perfect. These are beach waves, they're supposed to be textured, fun, messy, really mess it around, do some hair flips and now I'm going to add some Beach Day by Unite and this gives them more of a PC undone look. Now 
Now I'm going in with the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This stuff is great for adding volume into your beach waves. Sometimes beach waves can just be kind of blah and you want to give it some of that movement a bit. So I love this stuff. This is one of my favorite products. It's not as heavy as a dry shampoo. It's nice and light so it doesn't weigh your hair down. As I finish up this side of Ashley's hair, I'm just going to take my comb and do some last minute finishing touches. Now to finish off with some hairspray, and here is our finished look. Thank you guys for watching.